have here this uh, old DeWalt battery, and in today's video, we're going to be replacing the batteries inside of this that no longer hold a charge. So, of course, you'll need your old DeWalt battery, and then the batteries we're going to be use, going to be using are these right here. Um, the individual cells are called sub-C cells. You're going to need 15. I bought this pack off Amazon for around $30, as Tanergy is a pretty reputable brand in the RC industry. Um, but there are other alternatives you can get for around 20 bucks. So... Um, mine looked a little different. Here's what mine looked like. I'm not sure why the packaging didn't exactly match the picture, but this is what I got. Now I got the ones with tabs and I used the tabs for the soldering. Um, these batteries are 2200 milliamp hours rated higher than the original batteries found in the pack and they're all 1.2 volts. So the first step is to dismantle the battery. You're going to need a star bit to uh, remove the screws. Once removed, the top pulls off and then you may have to push the prongs through the handle to completely get it off. So go ahead and um, pull out the old battery pack once you have the all the screws removed and the top pulled off and this is what it looks like. Now don't try to tear this apart as uh, you're going to be using this to assemble a new pack. Notice there are seven sets of two and one on top for a total of 15 batteries. So the first thing I did was remove the rubber things that were on the tabs of the new batteries and bent them out like this. I then put a little solder on solder on one end of the tab and then uh, a little bit on the top of the battery. And then um, I taped them all up in sets of two as that will make them uh, easy to solder. So here's the finished solder. Um, the tabs are not very solder friendly. Um, it's, it wasn't none of these joints are pretty but um, go ahead and break off the extra tabs now repeat this process for all seven sets and start to lay them out in the battery pack like this I removed all the tabs on this side because they weren't in the right orientation um, I then resoldered them on in the proper orientation so here's the base complete notice for the handle battery as I like to call it I just bent it bent a tab back like this now the last step is to connect the positive wire and connect it to the battery prongs. At first I tried putting it back together and have the negative terminal connect via contact, but I kept having issues so I later went back in and connected a small wire from the negative battery to the negative prong. Finally, shove it all back in and put it in the charger. Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe for more how-to videos of whatever project I decide to take on in my daily life.